Retro babes and housewives, are you looking for a new getup for your special night out? Well, then let's get ready to powder our noses and set our stockings. Whether you're a Jackie Kennedy or a Marilyn Rose, stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we're using all really inexpensive products featuring the Revlon Blushed Wines palette. Um, I absolutely adore this palette. It has some gorgeous, really pretty colors. And the rest is by L'Oreal, NYX, and all of this you can find in the drugstore or online and without breaking your budget. No need for MAC or NARS here. So if you guys want to see this look, stay tuned. So I already primed my eye with Urban Decay Primer Potion, and now I'm going to go in with NYX's Jumbo Pencil in Milk, and I'm going to place this in the inner corner of my eye, also on the lid, going halfway. I'm going to blend this out. creating a really white surface. So as soon as that is set, I'm going to go in with another NYX Jumbo eyeshadow pencil in yogurt. I'm going to place this in the outer corner, going in to the crease line. Going up, going to be blending this out just slightly. So I'm going to take the first color in our palette, which is going to be this very pretty white, creamy white, I should say. I'm going to be tapping this in the inner corner, going under the eye slightly and onto the lid, just focusing on that inner corner, and blending up and down. I'm going to go in with our second color, this really pretty pink, and a flat shader brush from Coastal Scents and apply this all over the lip. This is a really gorgeous light pink. I'm going to be going in with my next color. It's this third color in the palette with the MAC 217 or any shader or blender brush, sorry. And I'm going to throw this into the crease using windshield wiper motions, pulling this color back and forth and also blending up towards the brow bone. matte highlight color going in with the Wet n Wild Vanity Palette. I'm just going to use this nice highlighted vanilla color with a Sephora blending brush. I'm going to pop this right on my brow bone. Also concentrating on blending out the line created from the third color. Taking this color and I'm going to go right on the outside and under my eye as well. color I'm going to be using is from the Revlon palette. Here it is. It's the very last very pretty plum color 
I'm going to take this and put it on the outer corner with a very small blending brush from Coastal Scents. Start blending into that crease. Taking the same color and the same brush and pulling those right under the eye. See that a really good fade? I'm going to go back in with the brush I used from the third color, the MAC 217. Just use the leftover color on there to kind of fade out some of the color. I'm going to go back to the second color, which was the lightest pink in the palette, right here. I'm going to use the same brush, flat shader brush, and tap this color to brighten up the lid right on top of where we placed it before. And also this is going to help blend out the colors we already placed. I'm going to deepen my crease just a little bit more. that all the eyeshadow is placed, I'm going to go in with my NYX eyeliner in purple. And I'm going to take this gently and place it right under our eye, using it as a liner and not going into the waterline. Now for the top line, I'm going to be using my Revlon Color Stay Liner, and this is in, well, it's not going to say, Blackest Noir. I'm going to just line the top line doing a thick winged out liner. So I added some Dila Kajal liner in Topaz in my waterline, which that is totally optional, and finished my liner. Now what I'm going to go in now is going to head and use Lavender Liquid Glitter Liner, and this is in number 5 by NYX. This is also optional. I'm going to place this right under my eyelashes. of the wing liner. Just add a little bit of sparkle. So now that we have the glitter on, we're going to kind of let it just let it dry. And I'm going to line my lips in Maybelline's lip liner in clear. And as for blush, I am going to use Romantic Plum by Maybelline. Just a really pretty plummy pink color. I'm going to be placing this right on the cheeks. So I finished placing my blush and I added some mascara. I just used my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. Now we're going to go in with lips and I am going to be using Revlon's Fuchsia in number 30. Placing this on the lips. 
So with this bright pink lipstick, we are all done. And here is the final look. Oh my gosh, some glitter under my eye. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys have any requests, please leave them below or send me an email um, right here. I have my email. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you guys later.